Uh, hello, good morning everyone. Today we are going to see another problem which is of grade 4. Uh, we are going to use the Singapore Math model method to solve problems which come under the whole number category. So let me go to the problem itself. There were thrice as many boys as girls in an auditorium. After 40 girls left the auditorium during break, there were five times as many boys as girls in the auditorium. How many boys were there in the auditorium? <clears throat> so first, let's take the first statement that we have here. There were thrice as many boys as girls in an auditorium. So in this, we see that what comes after as many as is girls. So that's our reference. So one unit for the girls and there were thrice as many boys so three times as many boys so for boys we'll have three uh, units here after 40 girls left the auditorium right so basically 40 girls left the auditorium here and there is no change in the number of boys remember you see here if we consider the boys and girls as two different quantities one quantity is changing which is the number of girls but the other is not changing so after 40 girls left the auditorium so let's say this is the 40 girls that's going to leave the auditorium in in this we know that if this is 40 there has to be a 40 in this unit also and a 40 here and a 40 here as well so we'll mark them out right I mean this marking is just for our own information they are not leaving the auditorium only this 40 is leaving the auditorium after that what happens there were five times as many boys as girls in the auditorium so we are going to uh, redraw this now is the after condition this is before at first and the after what happened after 40 girls left what happened again this number of girls that is here this 40 is gone so this becomes the new one unit for the girls so we are going to use this for the boys this is one unit I'm not taking into account the 40 here and this comes here as one unit and this again comes here as one unit see this is the new unit size so whatever is of the corresponding sizes will be considered as one unit one unit one unit we know that there were five times as many boys as girls so boys by right should have five units of this size and girls one unit so what happened to the rest totally you should have five units I've got three units here the rest as we know is made up of this 40 this 40 and this 40 so this 40 plus 40 plus 40 this actually should be constituting two units since we know that this is three units for sure the remaining two units will have to come from here so 40 times 3 is 120 so 2 units is equal to 120 yeah so 1 unit should be equal to 60 so we found out here that 1 unit here is 60 this 1 unit is the same as the size unit that you see here without including include, not including the 40 here so there was no change in the number of boys right so this is the total number of boys or we can take this actually so number of boys is equal to you see here one unit plus one unit plus one unit plus six forty plus forty plus forty and we know what is one unit one unit is sixty so that is equal to this which is equal to three hundred boys so this is an example of a problem involving whole numbers and we see that one of the quantity changes whereas the other quantity remains the same later we'll be seeing this kind of problem when we do ratio related problem and there are some shortcuts as well which we'll be seeing then i hope this was clear thank you uh, leave your comments as usual and uh, let me know if i need to clarify certain uh, uh, portions of this uh, video if yes 
let me know as well thank you bye bye